I busted the most popular 1.19 Minecraft myths and here's what we found out. Do wardens take fall damage? So one of the biggest myths is do warden take fall damage? Now we have a massive platform over here and I'm going to break this underneath to double check if he actually takes fall damage if I fall with him. It seems like he does in fact take fall damage and this myth has been busted. Wardens don't hear the goat horn. So we have a goat horn in my inventory right now and I'm going to keep using it. It's one of the newest additions to the Minecraft 1.19 thing and essentially it's a goat horn. Now we're going to see if these sort of sounds actually activate and make a warden spawn. And low key, I am not seeing a single warden spawn. So maybe this myth has actually passed the test. Oh my god, wait. We're gonna do it one more time. It seems like the wardens don't actually spawn using the goat horn. So this myth has actually passed the test. There you go. The goat horn is completely overpowered. Naming a seed ancient city makes it so that an ancient city actually spawns just from spawn. So we're loading into this world right now. And now that we're spawning, it does look kind of crazy. But if we were to dig down, it would instantly spawn us into an ancient city. Now we're here to test if this actually is correct or it's fake. I'm constantly digging down. And so far, this might be busted oh my god it seems like this it actually worked we dug from spawn and we ended up in an ancient city oh my god this myth actually works if you use the seed ancient city in your 1.19 world it really spawns an ancient city below your feet that's pretty cool frogs are known to eat anything and poop out the blocks for example can a frog eat a slime oh my god you saw it, it just ate the slime completely but it has to be a mini slime as you can see is it gonna eat it Oh my god, you saw the frogs eat the slime and this also works with magma cubes if I'm not mistaken. It just ate the magma slime and dropped the block called the Orch Orchy Frog Light. So now that we know that the frogs eat slime and magma cubes, we're going to test it if a bunch of frogs can eat a warden. And if they eat the wardens, what do they drop? Do they drop a scoop? That's the myth today. Oh my god, wait, the wait, no, the wardens are aggroing on the frogs. Frogs, eat him. You've got a whole pack. Okay, it honestly seems like the frogs don't eat the warden. This myth has been busted. It doesn't actually work. Although it would have been pretty cool. Speaking of frogs, if I was to name this name tag Jeb underscore, it is known for giving a rainbow sheep, which obviously is pretty cool. Now we're going to test this on a frog. If I was to use Jeb underscore, it should make you rainbow, but why is it not making you rainbow? Seems like that one failed. But if I was to name it Dinner Bone, as you can see, Dinner Bone makes stuff upside down. So to test this on a frog, we're going to be using Dinner Bone. And theoretically, oh my god, that is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. This frog is walking on air. How is that even possible? So it seems like Dinner Bone actually works on this. So this myth has passed the test. But we also have the name tags ready and we're going to test the other myth that does this work on a warden. Does Jeb underscore make the warden rainbow? We're here to test this out. And if I was to name you Jeb underscore, it seems like it doesn't... Oh my god. I had such high hopes I'd see the craziest rainbow warden ever. But it seems like this has been busted. But now we're going to test if Dinner Bone works. So if I was to name you Dinner Bone... Oh my god. This is the most cursed fourth dimensional being I've ever seen. Naming wardens Dinner Bone actually works. You can make an army of upside down wardens. This is the craziest thing to happen to Minecraft. I'm probably the scariest. Oh my god, they just killed me while they were upside down. It is said in 1.19, mob heads actually protect you from being noticed. So we have all the mob heads in our inventory, and we're here to test it out. If I was to equip a zombie head on top of me, and I was to make it nighttime and summon a zombie, it is said they shouldn't be able to notice me. Will I merge in with their kind? I mean, so far, he's not noticing me at all. Okay, wait, no, it's okay. If I was summon a skeleton, would it do the same? Okay, no, he's... Okay, this doesn't seem to work. This myth has been busted. Mob heads don't protect you at all. Apparently, you can find netherite under fossils. Now, I don't know how true this is but apparently if you find a fossil like this and you dig five to the side so one two three four five and if i was to dig straight down all the way i could potentially find ancient debris oh my god we actually ended up finding it wait how many pieces is this oh well it's bedrock layer but we found one piece of netherite no we need to test this again i found a brand new fossil close by to that one i want to test the same thing again one two three four five and if we were to dig straight down over here oh my god it's lava okay we've blocked off the lava and are we gonna find anything oh my god Oh, wait, I mean, it's not the block it's on, but I find it. It's right next to where I mined, which only means one thing. This myth has passed the test and it actually does work. Speaking of wardens, there's a special name tag that only you can add to make these wardens stand out. Now, we're here to test this out. If I was to place this anvil here and put the name tag inside and use a name tag to spell Gloden, apparently using the name tag Gloden would make this guy stand out. So I'm going to use it here. And wait, it seems like naming him Gloden actually worked. I mean, I don't know if this actually works. Let me just go a little bit far behind. Using this, I can spot wherever the the wardens are. This myth actually worked naming a warden Gloden. It turns out it actually makes him glow. That's a pretty cool easter egg. Now it'll help people not actually die. Apparently it takes five iron golems to kill one warden. Now is this myth true? We're here to test it out. We put one warden between them and we're gonna find out if it takes five. Oh my god. Oh my god. The warden is crumpled and overpowered. He's already taken out two. Can he take out three? Oh my god. He's taken out three. And he's taken out four. Is he gonna kill all five? He killed all five. That just doesn't seem actual possible. Wait that, that doesn't seem possible at all. 
gold. It takes eight iron golems to kill one warden. So this myth has been busted. It doesn't take five, but it actually takes eight. Yeah, the wardens are a little overpowered. Apparently the Minecraft world is actually endless. So to test that out, we put the max cords we can to see where we end up. And as soon as we TP, we've met with the border. So it's not actually endless. It seems like the world border stops at 29999. 29 million. But we can bypass this by going into spectator. Why is it not? It's not letting me go further. It seems like there's an invisible border, which actually makes it so that Minecraft isn't endless, which is kind of sad. Using a boat, we've gone all the way out. I've fully broken Minecraft. I mean, I guess I'm the first person to actually break Minecraft. It seems like I've broken the physics of Minecraft and it's glitching. So it seems like this myth has been busted. The world isn't actually endless, which is kind of sad. Reinforced deep slate is stronger than obsidian. So we're going to test how long this takes. Currently, it's taking four seconds. Okay, it takes about three to four seconds. Now on this, it's taking... Okay, I'm not even mining it. What? I've got efficiency five on this. And it's just... It's not mining. Okay, it's already been proven that this... It just... It's so much stronger. Now to test this even further, we're going to try a TNT. Does any of this break from TNT? I highly doubt it, but come on. Okay, none of it breaks from TNT. Now trying this, we're going to try the respawn anchor and... Okay, only this sets on fire, which is interesting. Now using the end crystal, we're going to be using the end crystal and to break... I mean, I'm not surprised if this doesn't break, but... Yeah, it really didn't do anything. So it seems like they're all blast resistant and it takes long for reinforced deep slate to actually mine, which officially makes it the number one competitor against bedrock. Is it possible for warders to drown? It automatically seems like a no because they go all the way to the top. They float because from what we witnessed, iron golems actually don't. But we're here to test if this myth is actually true. So if I was to summon an iron golem here, I'm going to wait until to see if it actually drowns or if it's smart enough to actually escape this and go all the way to the top. Okay, stop trying to fight him. What, what are you doing? Okay, it seems like they actually do drown. They taking water damage but if i was to break this yep he goes all the way to the top so technically they don't actually drown which means this myth has actually passed wardens don't actually drown because they float so i'm gonna make a brand new world and now that we're in it's a test that if you was to dig down from spawn you instantly get diamonds so we're here to test this out i'm gonna dig all the way straight down all the way down i'm about to hit bedrock at this point i've gone past deep slate yep no i'm i'm very much getting scammed i've hit bedrock and i'm into the void apparently wardens will super jump on soul sand so we have our wardens ready and are they gonna super jump or are they just gonna constantly jump normally? Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, all right. All right. This myth, this myth has been busted. They don't jump at all. Because if you was to test this with an axe lol, they super jump so... Okay, he's pushing them out of the way. This myth has been busted. Warders don't super jump using soul sand. Apparently, if we're in the nether, water should put us out. So we have a water ball in our inventory. And if I was to splash this on myself right now, it should theoretically put me not out. Okay, this, this myth has been busted. I'm still on fire. Well, this myth has been busted. It doesn't actually put you out. Apparently, you could sprint in a boat. Now, we have the new boat here. And we're here to test this out. So this is me going normal speed. And if I was to sprint, I'm going a little bit faster. But is that just my FOV changing? So let's say I'm going here. Okay, normal speed. Let me sprint. I don't think it actually does anything other than change the FOV. I may be wrong, but this myth has seemed to pass. You can actually sprint while you're in a boat. Apparently, parrots will actually dance to music. So we have the new CD here. And we're playing it. And I mean, it's rather creepy music but it seems like they're actually dancing which is kind of cool so that myth has actually passed pirates do dance against a jukebox okay that's pretty creepy i'm gonna back away and now we've busted all the popular 1.19 minecraft myths